In this question, we need to determine the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration of the block. Let's write down what we know from the question and diagram. Now let's write down the equations for magnitude of velocity and acceleration. So first, we need to figure out a few things before we can start plugging in values. We need a position equation. We are given the speed, which is the derivative of the position equation. That means we need to take the integral to go backwards. This is the same as when we need to figure out a position equation from velocity. The lower and upper bounds for our integral are the following. The distance starts at 0 meters and the time starts from 0 seconds. Let's solve the integral. Now we have a position equation, the first time derivative, but not the second time derivative. So let's find that now. We are simply taking the derivative of our speed equation. Now, we have the angular velocity, but not the second derivative of angular velocity. So let's find that, which is zero since the velocity was a constant. It's time to find all the values at one second. This makes it a lot easier to plug into our equations at the end. Now we can start plugging in values. We will start with the magnitude of velocity equation. Solving gives us the magnitude of velocity. Next, the magnitude of acceleration equation. Solving gives us the magnitude of acceleration. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. Best of luck with your studies.